If I didn't know them was work out, I've called a hustle. Oh, okay. Hustle or keep walk, walking, you know. Keep keep walking. Keep, walking. keep pushing. Yeah, keep pushing. Or maybe just cut. Okay, they are cutting. They are cutting. Because if you look around, there are so many traffic lights. So if you beat it like this, there are five last man there, five. No. They will just stop! What did they get? What comes to your mind first? Uh, I know. All right, this particular statue is at Maryland Roundabout. A lot of all these statues are built um, strategically in Lagos to celebrate Lagos at 50. But this particular one caught my attention because Lagos, you know, Lagos is a land of hustle. Different people come in Lagos to live just for a better life. Different tribe, different cultures. People, I would say Lagos is where your dream comes true. And looking at each mantle, you would see the young, the old, the basketballer, the the, the Christian, the educator, a lot of people, this is a place where your dream comes true. And, but I'm going to be asking people what they think about this statue. Looking at this statue, what comes to your mind? Uh, I think I prefer the old one. But looking at it, I think some guard tribes, some guard um, occupation. Because I think I can see something like a police, a policeman uniform, and uh, other tribes, I guess. I can see togetherness. In it, uh, togetherness simply means oneness. I can see religion in it as well. I can see tradition in it as well. What I think it means is just for the celebration of 58th Lagos State Anniversary. And I believe it's just a sign of a unity coming together as a Nigerian to really move the nation forward. This is a beautiful statue, I say. And we're definitely going to show you so many other statues. You just got to stay tuned. All right, guys. So Foley is like into art and sculptures. And she said that, Bolly, we're going to go and look for all this. And I say, what are we doing? But I got here today and I saw a leg. I say this one is going to destroy my destiny. So by a of similarity. Apparently the leg is sculptured perfectly. It was been there for a month. But you know I like stressing myself. So look, look at what it's doing. Look at what it's doing. I'm going to go and paint. Yeah. Come with me. Talk to the artist that sculpted the statue. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'm so happy to meet you here. In in sculpture, we have several types of media. We have uh, wood, we have steel, we have uh, clay, we have fiberglass, several. But this is a uh, polystyrene. It's uh, most people are not so into it yet. But it's the good thing about this material. It's um, very fast, it's malleable. If I'm to do a sculpture with clay and it takes me like um, six months, if I do the same sculpture with the polystyrene, it might take me like maybe six weeks. So this is a lot faster. So, but, but when you're done, we have some other art coating agents you use to coat it, to make it uh, weatherproof and stand the test of time. when I saw this is mind-blowing and it caught my attention and this is at Ojoju Bega roundabout the entry of Lagos State how did he do it so many questions crossed my mind when I was coming in I heard a lot of people say SAM body oh, I don't know what's going on here but I've got Bali here Bali actually this is called Waka so oh. Bali a lot of people have been saying um, SAM body what would you call it last man leg yeah. <laughs> if you look around there's a lot of 
Lasma, police officer. This leg is when they say they have cast you like this. Ah! That's what <laughs> Uh, it symbolizes the fracture uh, foot. It means that uh, pedestrian that they should be very careful in crossing the road as a pedestrian. I mean, whenever you're coming from east, when you get here, you know that you're almost in Lagos. I know that unlike when you're coming, you don't see. I mean, I'm, all, I'm in Lagos for words. From the fact that it's beautiful, the foot. What does that foot mean to you? Like seriously, <laughs> the foot is as big as something else. I can't even know. I mean, whenever I'm looking at this, I will I see that it means. This is the leg that means that we have caught you, Governor, go to catch here. So it's not a sample, it's not work, it's not cut. Yeah, I think it's really unique and probably means maybe one of the gods have put their legs down in Lagos or something. So it's really nice and all. One of the gods? One of the gods, you know those three wise men, maybe okay. it's their leg that they left behind there. So. No, some people, they work from Ibado. To Lagos to come and find greener pasture. So, so Lagos is like this. Uh, so it can either be cut or, or perhaps welcome or also, you know. Awesome. All people are just walking, walking, walking. About the Kodushi, it can now welcome to Lagos. I like KG, on both at the north, on both at the east, on both at anywhere. The first step to Lagos is not Bandi Nibi. Bandi, it being seen, you go that is the essence of Ugoni, the essence of Lagos State. Your first attempt, your first step entering Lagos is from here. It was so much fun touring around with you. I took you to Maryland Roundabout, and this is Ochoju Bega Roundabout. I would like to know what you think how this statue relate with you, what you understand by it and what it represents. My name is Foley, this is Vatabos, but this is not the end of our tour. Vata Box.